morning guys so I have a pretty busy day today I have lots I have to get done so I thought I would bring you guys along for it first thing up on my list is I have to cut out um, some thank you tags for our baby shower this weekend um, my mom asked if I could help since I have a silhouette cameo and if you don't know what a cameo is it basically is like a printer but with like a knife <laughs> basically so like I can cut out little cute little designs and stuff so anyways I'm cutting out the tags I'll show you guys what they look like when they're all done we have them all designed and they're gonna be super super cute um, so yeah I'm gonna go up and get those cut and then start tackling the rest of my to-do list. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is eat lunch because my timer for taking my blood sugar after breakfast just went off. That has honestly been the biggest pain with this whole diabetes thing is not being able to eat anything for two hours after a meal because I need to get like an accurate reading on my blood sugar. And so, yeah, basically for two hours after I eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I can't eat anything until I take my blood sugar. Um, and that just kind of stinks as a pregnant person. I have kind of found some workarounds, like some zero carb snacks, like hard boiled eggs have no carbs, and so I can snack on those um, kind of in my wait period, but that has honestly been the biggest struggle for me, I guess, is the timing of when I'm allowed to eat. But anyways, I just took my blood sugar, it was great, and I am going to have some lunch. My mom made some uh, split pea and ham soup, which I love, and so, I'm going to heat up some of that for myself and have lunch and then start my to-do list. <laughs> okay, so I just finished cutting all of the little tags for the um, shower favors and I think they turned out so cute. I, can't, I take zero credit for the design. The design was all my mom and I think they turned out exactly like she was imagining. They look so cute. I'm trying to get together a little set so you can see what they look like. So this is little focus. There we go, the cute little tags that are gonna hang off of everyone's favor from the shower. It's two little circles and then obviously overlapped. And it has cute little baby footprints cut out, which I think is adorable. So you can see the little pink tag behind the front tag with like, you know, all the text and stuff on it. So I think they're really cute and I hope she likes the finished product. Um, now I think I'm gonna go into the kitchen and finish loading up my dishwasher. Um, I just have like, I emptied it earlier today with like the clean dishes but I still haven't like reloaded it with the dirty dishes that have accumulated today so far so I'm gonna do that and then probably fold my laundry and then clean my dish or not dishwasher um microwave that's the one so basically um I made a list of things that I want to clean like deep clean before the baby gets here and um it was about seven or eight and that's exactly like about how many weeks we have left so I'm gonna try and do one like thing a week so on my list so far I have the bedding appliances uh, I want to do a super deep vacuum of the house I want to clean the kitchen the bathroom scrub the floors car interiors and the attic um, and so I'm gonna pick one of those to do each week miles is also going to be doing things I think he's doing the car interiors and also the attic um, It just needs to, the attic isn't really like necessary because obviously the baby's not gonna be up in the attic But we did have like bats in our attic And so there's some bat poop that needs to be cleaned up and I can't do that because apparently like it's it, bat poop can be toxic I, regardless that's a miles project, but the other things I'm gonna start tackling. So this week I decided to uh, deep clean all of our appliances. So like I said, I'm starting easy with the microwave today since I had a bunch of other things I wanted to get done. So <sighs> yeah, but that's kind of one more thing that has been on our to-do list to get done before baby arrives.
Alright, Miles just got home from work a little bit ago and we are working on our very first Instant Pot dinner. And Miles has decided to be super brave and is basically not working off a recipe. <laughs> like, he has a general idea of, like, obviously what he wants to cook, but he's not following, like, a step-by-step -step Instant Pot, like, recipe. So, we're kind of winging it with the first one. We'll see well, how it turns out. Cook, so I figured, like, I don't know. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Um, and so, do you want to tell them what you're kind of planning on doing? Uh, like, Greek chicken, Spanish chicken, I don't know. It's okay. chicken, and I'm throwing... And he's cooking a whole chicken. A whole chicken. Olives. Red onion, tomatoes, and artichokes, and basil. And for anyone wondering, this is the specific Instant Pot that we got. Um, it was originally, Miles said it was $70 off, so it was on sale at Target for $60. Then we had a coupon for $10 off a purchase of $50 or more, so we got this for $50. It's absolutely a gargantuan. It's massive. <laughs> eight quart one. Yeah, it's eight quarts, so it's huge. I think but people just buy the six. Yeah, but the, actually the eight the was cheaper was, than the yeah. six. Yeah, the, the six one wasn't on sale as much um, as the eight, so we just went with the eight. And I figure, I mean, it'll be nice because, like, Miles can cook a whole freaking chicken in there. I could have done that in the six. But yeah, but I don't know. You could cook a whole turkey in there for Thanksgiving. <laughs> right? Oh my god, instant well, the pot turkey. Well, the only thing is that it just doesn't, it doesn't, like, crisp the skin up. But I assume chicken. you would be able to do that with, like, the saute function, maybe, somehow. Well, like, know. you know, after you cook it, do another like five minutes. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. But we also really wanted this for when the baby arrives. We want something to be able to, you know, still like super easily make dinners at home. Also, Miles is going to be starting his master's degree in January, I we think. believe. Yeah, we believe as of now. That's kind of the plan. And so I'm going to kind of be taking over cooking dinners. And you guys know I don't really cook. So we kind of <laughs> wanted, <to laughs> we wanted to make it as easy as possible for me to take over that if and when I do need to. So, yeah, and like I said, we got a great deal. So, we're pretty excited about it. Obviously, Instant Pots are like, you know, having a moment here. <laughs> and we're gonna be able to get rid of our old crock pot and like, kind of free up some space, to switch them out. I think we can get rid of our rice cooker. No. My, Miles wants to keep our old rice cooker for it's some reason. It's not, it's like as big as that pot. Well, I know, but it's still taking up space in the small appliances no. shelf. I'm gonna be like rooting around for other small appliances that I could just get and rid of. And don't throw anything out until we know we like the Instant Pot. No, obviously, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we are going to get that put in there and I will let you guys know how dinner turns out. <laughs> All right, and here is the finished dinner. I've already had a tiny little bite of like, um, I think the artichokes and the chicken, I don't know, but it was super tasty. It Miles said artichoke, olive, and onion. So I like tried the little sauce that gets put on the chicken, but it looks so amazing. Obviously, we um, he also sauteed some green or not green beans, um, zucchini, <laughs> and he just did that like on the stove. He didn't use the instant pot for that, but this all was cooked in the instant pot. Looks absolutely amazing, and yeah, gonna dig in and looks amazing. <laughs> They'll have to tell me if they want the recipe because. It, well, yeah, we can't link it since yeah. you kind of wing, <laughs> winged it. <laughs> hey guys, so it's the next day and I'm about to actually edit this vlog, but I wanted to jump on here real quick and end things for you guys and let you know how dinner went. It was phenomenal. It was so incredibly good. The chicken was so juicy and like it literally like was just falling off the bone. It was so, so good. Some of the best chicken that we've had, like that Miles has made. I don't know. It was just so good. And like the sauce with the artichokes and the olives, it was so good. I wish I could link the recipe for you, but like we said, Miles just kind of like threw stuff together. So if you're interested, I might have Miles jump on here and kind of quickly explain what he did. Um, if you would like to try it yourselves because it's like one of my new favorite meals. It was so good and I'm so excited to eat it again for dinner tonight. I like... It was so good. So definitely success with the first attempt at our Instant Pot, and I'm really excited that we finally have one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap things up and get this vlog up for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it, and give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Good night! Mm -hmm.